Welcome to Positively Milwaukee, restoring a part of our country's past and sharing it with Southeast Wisconsin. That's what a local executive is doing as he discovers a way to hit the right notes, and he doesn't even play an instrument. In Franklin, Wisconsin, a giant piece of American history is reclaimed. It's a happy feeling. And this overture emerges in an unexpected place, a warehouse. This colossal composition lives inside the Karma Laboratories warehouse. The company makes the lip balm Carmax. This is the largest theater organ in the world. It's been under construction for 13 years. We have just great acoustics. You're looking at a warehouse here that's roughly 40,000 square feet. And that was the inspiration for building the organ. Carmex president Paul Welbing commissioned the creation of this immense instrument. The gateway drug for me was back in the 1960s. My dad bought me a copy of Switched On Bach. Welbing is not a musician. He's just a music lover. I was an art teacher. My, my background is art. I have an MFA in art, specifically in metalsmithing, but I, I taught high school art, painting, drawing, sculpture, etc. I also love mechanical stuff. Uh, I love old-fashioned mechanics. So this is the perfect thing. And after more than a dozen years and 6,000 pipes, this mammoth makeover is almost complete. 90% of it comes from organs that have been dismantled over the past decades. We have parts from probably 50 different instruments here. Parts are recycled from all over. The chimes are from a school in New Hampshire. <laughs> wow! And then I can hear that. It's magic. It really is, if you think about it. It's it like really magic. It, it's moving. I mean, the hair in my arms, not on my head, stands on end. <laughs> <laughs> Wellbeing is pulling out all the stops to save this art form. When people look at this, this large wooden box with the keys, they think, organ. Mm -hmm. This actually is the council. The organ is the 6,000 pipes you see around here. And this is what allows the artist to access those. So you have a blower that's putting out air, you have the pipes sitting on chests, and then you have the keys, which activate it. That's the neat thing about an organ. You can make any sound. Only a handful of American theater pipe organs have survived extinction. These pipes and pedals give musicians unlimited range. So we can do classical music, popular music, you name it, this, this instrument can do it. These organs were a mainstay in theaters in the early 1900s. These were specifically built for accompanying silent movies. And restoring musical magic means millions of dollars. There's even a Steinway piano by the organ that can become a player piano. How much would you say it is costing you to maintain this theater organ? Just enough to keep it going. <laughs> it may be a giant investment, but it's not a money maker. You'll spend a couple million dollars to build a major instrument. That said, if I decide to dismantle this and get rid, I'd probably get $10,000 for it. But this American antique is invaluable. The repertoire of sound is a rhapsody of joy to organist Zach Frame. To have an instrument that has these kind of capabilities with this kind of a tonal palette, uh, there's only maybe five or six instruments that even come close to this in the world. And so uh, to have one literally, you know, in my backyard almost is, I feel very lucky personally, um, but it's not something you're going to see many other places. You're your own symphony orchestra. <laughs> Absolutely. That's, that's the whole idea. The public can even attend free concerts here. This isn't something I did just for myself. I mean, yeah, it is fun. I come play in the evening. But it, it, sort of doing that yourself, it's meaningless. So we have concerts three or four times a year. The American Theater Pipe Organ, a throwback to yesterday. And Paul Welbing gives us a resplendent refrain to remember our past. This is really a gift to the future. It's a real labor of love to, to build this thing. We're, we're nearing completion after 13 years. <laughs> Sounds
sounds fantastic. By the way, one of those free concerts is coming up this afternoon.